Inserting the X reference. After we made all the selections in the attach external reference dialog box and we're ready we're ready with all our, our selections, we can go and and pick the OK button. Now when we pick the OK button, the X reference is attached to the end of our cur uh, crosshairs. And at this point, we can just pick it on the screen or we can key in an insertion point. I'll come down in on the command line. And I'm going to key in an insertion point of 0, comma, 0. We always want to make sure we use the same insertion point uh, for all of our X references files to make sure they stack on top of each other. And I hit enter and notice how it popped right on top of it. And remember that the external references are actually in another file so the data has not increased our file size. So we're keeping our file size, size still at a minimal uh, at this point. But yet we have the ability now to see all that external data.